Hello everyone, this is just a quick screencast to show you how to check your grades and to get all the great feedback. So checking grades doesn't, doesn't mean just looking at the score that you got. The whole purpose in learning is that you can learn from the process, learn from your mistakes, and learn from the instructor. So I have left some comments in either a rubric and in some occasions, on some occasions, on the paper itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on grades to get to the grade book so that you can see your grades. When you get over there, you'll see a list of your grades. And then over here, you'll see the date it was due, the score, and the points that it was worth. So in this case, you got 10 out of 20. And then here, if you hover over these check marks, you'll see that this will give you some scoring detail. That's not really what you want to look at. It doesn't give you as much information as you'd like. So let's click on that and see for assignment number one. It just sort of tells you what the mean and what the high score was and what you scored out of. But the important information is in this little uh, picture or icon, which is to see the rubric. Okay, so when you click on that to see the rubric, now you'll see some comments. You can see that it was assessed by me. And then in the middle here, these were the criteria that you're graded on, and then these are the comments that I have left for you. And then, of course, the points based on those comments. So you can see you're missing points in this area and in this area, and then I would give comments as to why that is. Now, on some occasion, on, on, on occasion I will make feedback or leave feedback on the document itself. Um, and you can get to that by clicking on the assignment name. Now for this first assignment, I didn't leave any feedback on the paper, but if it were an essay, I would have. So when you go into the assignment area, you can see the document that you submitted. If you submitted an RTF, which I'd say 75% of you did, I can't leave comments on that document. That's why when you're uh, asked to submit an essay, you will have to be able to submit it as a document. What you'll want to do is click on this Preview the Document button. And once you do that, you can see that I have made comments and you can make it bigger but unfortunately I haven't been able to figure out how to make it much bigger than this but you can see that I've circled something I've highlighted I've left a comment it just says this is a comment and then towards the bottom of the document you can see that I can cross out text and I can add my own text so if you feel like there are comments that you're not seeing you can always check them by going into the assignment so let's just backtrack and see what I did to get here again so I clicked on grades, and in the grades area are all of your assignments. And then over here, you'll be able to see the rubric, if there's a rubric. Now, obviously, if there's not a rubric for an assignment, you'll definitely want to go in and look at the assignment. But by clicking on the rubric, you can see what the grading criteria was, what comments I left for you, and the score that you got. So if that's not enough, you might want to go in and click on the assignment itself, and then from there, if you've submitted a document, I will have left comments. Okay, Again, for assignment number one, I did not leave comments. This is just for future reference. So that's how you can get the feedback that you need to do your rewrites. Remember, all rewrites are due by Sunday. So go ahead, get in there, see what your scores are. And if you're going to uh, submit a rewrite, get them done by Sunday. If you have any questions, let me know.